What's up my Sleepy Dreams? Welcome back to the channel, Sleepy Dreamy. Today I'm gonna to be giving you a complete guide to PTCGO, as well as on ways you can get involved into the competitive scene as well. So let's get straight into the video. Okay guys, in this video, we're gonna go over two approaches on how you can play this game. The first is free to play, and I'm just gonna give you a recommended route on how to play this game completely free. I know several people who do but it is somewhat of a grind and then i'm going to give you a non free to play win approach as well on top of that i'm going to give you a bunch of resources where you can go ahead and check out deck list um other content creators who create great content and for you to follow and learn a lot about the game especially if you're very new so let's get on with it all right guys so in order for us to even start playing the game we need to go to pokemon.com and we download the client so in order to do that we go to again like i stated before pokemon.com and then we go to play over here and then we click play tcg online and then here we click here and you, as you can see it's available for windows and mac uh, operating systems as well as it's available on the apple app store and also on google play so just download the, your version that you need to install follow the instructions to install and once you get that installed you go ahead and create an account and follow the steps there as well and boom you have ptcgo okay guys so for this free to play approach once you download the client and then you go through you make an account um you'll go through a little bit of a tutorial in there once you're done with the tutorial what you're gonna do is you're gonna follow this process um they give you a starter deck uh theme deck to use on the ladder i believe it's the Galade starter deck so you're gonna go on the ladder and then you're gonna completely grind the ladder with that deck until you hit 500 coins in pokemon there's two types of currencies which i'll explain in a minute but basically you're just gonna grind that ladder until you get 500 coins once you get 500 coins you're gonna get one of three starter decks one is the team of charizard the second one is either the vivid voltage charizard or the vivid voltage dreadnought deck um, I haven't had much experience with the Dreadnought deck, from, but from what I'm hearing, it's a pretty decent theme deck. Um, so feel free to grab that one, but I highly recommend either grabbing the Charizard team up one or the Vivid Voltage one. The Charizard team up one is, in terms of theme decks, is better, but you can build off of the vivid voltage one a lot better um so if you want to go ahead and check out some videos um there's a lot of people creating decks with that charizard currently right now um i actually included a budget video so feel free and check it up uh, up top i will leave a link for that video as well if you want to check out my uh deck building charizard um and once you get that theme deck what you want to do is you want to continue grinding the theme deck ladder uh grinding the theme deck ladder gives you a bunch of coins a bunch of event tickets and you just want to grind a very you want to grind that ladder until it's done you'll get packs tick uh, coins and tickets and just a lot of stuff you'll get even packs that you can of cards that you can get as well as full arts and stuff like that so it's pretty nice we'll show you in a bit but before i go and i show you the ladder and stuff like that i want to explain the two currencies in PTCGO, the first one is coins. Now coins, what you could do with coins is you can basically buy a lot of swag. You can buy Pokemon sleeves. You can buy clothes for your avatar with coins and you can even buy packs um, and, but, and, and stuff like that um, in general. And now event tickets are another kind of currency that give you entrance to eight man tournament pods. And in those eight man tournament pods, you win free tradable packs. Now in TCG, what I'll show you is when you buy coins, anytime you use coins or you win stuff on in PTCGO, like all that stuff is locked, which means you can't trade that stuff away. So like, let's say you get some packs on the ladder, you can't trade those packs and a lot of that stuff is very um packs are basically money in this game so you'll use packs a lot of the time to trade for cards that you need um now event tickets what they do now event this is where it's a little bit different event tickets give you the prizes that you win in events in, in those eight man pods those packs that you win are tradable 
So you want to get as many event tickets as possible so that you can go into those tournaments and grab as many packs as possible so that you can use that and start building any deck you want and trading for the cards that you really need. Um, so that's how this process goes. You're mainly, you know, you're using that theme deck to continue um, looping, looping through and grabbing more event tickets so you can go and play in those events and get more tradable packs so you can start building better and better decks. Um, so now let's move into the client and let, I'm going to show you real quick. So what you do here is you're just going to go. I created a brand new account right here. This is my personal account, but I created one just for show you. You'll get this theme deck right here called Mental Might. It's the Gallade deck. And then what you'll do is that like you'll see here, you'll grind this ladder out probably to maybe around here. It looks like here you'll get around 300 coins, possibly 500 coins. And once you get your 500 coins, you'll go over to the shop over here. And I'm gonna show you the exact decks you should be getting for this. Um, that way here is the Charizard deck uh, the, from Vivid Voltage. As you can see, you can get it for 500 coins. And again, like I said, once you buy this, this will be locked and it comes with this deck, which is pretty decent. And like I said, you can always build off of this deck. And then you have the, the second option. This is the Dreadnought deck. Um, this is the water deck so you can kind of work off of this because this does high damage with cramorant so this is still a pretty decent deck to grab and honestly these decks come with a lot of staples such as research and stuff like that that you can start using those to build more competitive decks once you get those cards that you need and then the third option is the team up charizard this deck is it, it's still considered one of the best decks because it has a lot of things going for it um, The Charizard accelerates itself with this uh, energy and can attack in one turn with its ability uh, the, the the Needle Queen has a Queen's Call ability lets it search Pokemon And then Rapidash alone has agility and basically if you flip heads they can't damage you And again you're just getting a decent amount of staples Some of these cards have rotated out so you can't play them in standard But again you can use this deck to just kind of grind out and get packs for cards that you need um so again once you get that pack you just go once you get that deck you just go back on the ladder and boom just keep grinding out and what i said is here you'll get packs like again like i said this pack once you win it you can open it but it's it's locked so you can't trade it so you might as well open it and you might get some good things from that that you can start using to build decks um you'll get tag team pokemon here as well if you keep going up the ladder and you'll also get a full art supporter sabrina's suggestion isn't that good but sometimes they'll have some decent full art supporters there for you um so you can kind of just grind this out once you get tickets you can go to the events tab here and this is what i was talking about those eight man pods where you look at the rewards you like if you get first place here in viv expanded you get six packs that's an insane amount and that's just like i said packs are basically money in this game and you use them to trade for the cards that you absolutely need to build those meta competitive decks um same thing with here and you would go into this v uh viv theme uh, and as you can see first place you're not getting as much but you're also for uh theme decks you only need to pay four tickets and a lot of times when you're playing these tickets you'll get rewards so sometimes you'll play and then you'll get like two tickets pack so you're only paying like two tickets and you're getting three uh vivid voltage uh packs uh if you win um and it's honestly it's not difficult to win like you're getting even if you get third or fourth place you'll get one pack that's something you know and you start building 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 and then next thing you know you have a meta deck ready to go that'll win things so uh that is the free to play route that i recommend taking for you guys now we're gonna go ahead and check out the non uh free to play approach all right guys now i'm gonna describe a little bit of the non free to play way of getting into ptcgo first is you have a big collection you've been a collector for a while and you just bought a ton of vivid voltage and with those vivid voltage packs you just have a bunch of codes lying around and you're interested what you can do is just scan those codes in and those codes become tradable packs any codes that you trade in become tradable and not locked unlike those that you get off the ladder and stuff like that um and you can use those 
packs to trade for cards that you may need. Like, let's say you have 300 codes. 300 codes is more than enough to possibly get you, like, maybe ADPZ going is a great starter deck, I think, to start off in general. Um, Colossal, something, whatever. Um, that is well more than enough cards. Um, I would say even less than that to get you a deck. Um, possibly, you know, so there you go that's one way but one way that i highly recommend if you have some money is to buy the zashin v league battle decks coming out i believe friday of the week i'm releasing this video for 25 dollars you are getting the core of what is considered possibly the best deck in format in adpz um basically you're getting two zashians and arceus Aga palkia and a bunch of like trainers such as metal saucer i believe you're getting researches in there you're getting a full play set of tarachis with stellar wish which is a great card as well so the amount of value that you're getting for this deck for 25 dollars is just insane um i think zashians themselves run anywhere from 20 dollars up so that that's insane value for what you're getting and even on top of that let's say you don't really want to buy the, the the physical deck there's a lot of um online stores that i'll mention later where you can just buy the code so like that is very that's one easy way for you to just buy the code boom you have a core of the bet what's considered the best deck in the current format right now so that is my recommended approach is you just kind of buy that deck and you just play it um the 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 game plan of adpc is very simple you just go altered creation as quickly as possible and then you go and you start attacking with zashin as fast as possible taking extra prizes when you take knockouts and that that's just simple you play bosses to gust around the big things that zashin may not be able to one hit and that's it um, so yeah, that is a great starter deck in my opinion to get started with. Um, again, you're just getting amazing value for that deck. So why not get it if you're already just not taking the free to play approach in my opinion. Um, so that with, you know, getting a couple co other code cards, you can start finish building out the ADPZ deck as you need because uh, an official um meta adpz deck is typically running anywhere from four to three zashi mvs and two arceus de palkias and stuff like that so yeah and other attackers as well but you know again you have a start that you can go ahead and just you know kind of just play online get get a feel of the game um and you won't completely just lose if you decide to go and play in an online tournament um so now we're gonna go ahead and check out the client and I'm going to show you like what signifies a pack, a locked pack, a locked uh, item versus a non-locked item. And also show you where you can redeem these codes if you were to happen to have codes and also show you the deck manager as well. So now we're going to go into collection. Here we have, you know, just again, your collection in general, Pokemon trainer, energy packs, gameplay items, avatar items, coins stuff like that now you see these little um locks this means that i have currently three locked packs of rebel clash that means i can't do anything with that pack but open it um and once i open that pack even the cards in there i can't trade at all so um any numbers that you don't have locked are next to are next to the lock package right now i have one but if i were to scan a rebel clash code in i would have see that number then i could trade that pack if i wanted to for something else um but then again so yeah so now we're gonna go ahead and check out the trade um, here is where you go and you know just make curt trades you go ahead go to public offers you can see what cards you are looking for um, you can add filters go ahead and uh, sword and shield 099 099 I believe is colossal V max right now I have this check for acceptable trades only I don't have much in this so I'm gonna uncheck that so here I, I don't have any of this this stuff to make that trade which is why you see the big circle x um but basically you'll see the trades come in 
um, for Colossal VMAX and anything here. Someone wants a VMAX for these two, uh, Crobat V. And then you can even also create trades. You can do a public trade, private trade, public tra trade. Basically creates one of these under your name and people can accept the offer if they like it. Um, on top of that, uh, we go here. And here is where we, you know, we redeem our code cards that we might have. We either enter them manually here or we just, you know, hit the QR code reader and we scan it in. Um, we can only claim 10 at a time, which is annoying. You'll see it come in uh, up on this, this over here, but you can only claim 10 at a time. That is a limitation of PTCGO. Um, so now you're going to go deck manager and here is where you will build decks um these tabs you have all this esteem standard expanded legacy and unlimited so basically you just go here um i would never use deck wizard deck wizard is kind of terrible and you know here if you select one of these it'll filter out the cards that aren't legal in that format so then you hit import import you can even import deck list that you might see online directly you copy it and then you hit import it'll import the list and then basically grab all the cards you need for that deck um so that's it and now we're gonna go ahead and i'm gonna share some resources such as you know stores that you can see and some content creators that you might enjoy and even get some great decks that you can play with Okay guys, I'm gonna give you guys some resources that I use to play the game online. First, I'm gonna give you two stores that I typically go ahead and buy code cards for, with. Um, and that the first one is Potown Store. Now I, just to get it straight, I am not sponsored by Potown Store. It's just a store that I've never had issues with. And I typically, if I need something quickly, like a promo card that I'd possibly need, they typically always have it in stock and I just haven't had any issues with them ever, so that is one store that I highly recommend. Um, but, and I also typically check eBay, but you also have to be careful with eBay. Make sure that whatever seller you're buying from from eBay is 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 a good seller. Check their reviews, check the stuff. Make sure you're not getting scammed, and just make sure you're checking prices and stuff like that because there there, there, there could be scammers on eBay, eBay as well. So. Um, now some uh, content creator resources for you that you can possibly go ahead and learn from. Uh, these are YouTubers, Twitch streamers, um, anybody that you can go ahead and go ahead and check out for possible deck lists, better ways to improve in the game. Um, and now this is going to be a long list and I've separated them into kind of two groups. One is like they're hyper competitive and they mainly do um, competitive content a lot. And then I have another one, which another category where, you know, they kind of do a mix. Yes, they're still mainly competitive, but they also throw in um, some fun things here and there a lot more often than the hyper competitive category. So going on to the hyper competitive category, first one is Tablemon. Tablemon has been playing the game for a while. Um, he is a very smart player. He knows how to play the game very well. And um, he's just, a, again, he's just very knowledgeable at the game. Um, I believe he's from Latin America. If um, So go ahead, check him out on YouTube. He streams on Twitch a lot. Um, any And again, any of these content creators, I will leave a link to their YouTube channel. And if they don't have a YouTube channel, I'll link them to whatever other um, social media they have, whether that's Twitter, uh, Twitch or anything like that, but I'm mainly going to leave YouTube channels down below in the description. But again, back to Tablemon, um, smart player, great guy to look at, to look into flex daddy, righteous, another great player, um, has won several regionals himself as well. Um, very smart, very knowledgeable in the game. And he's also a very nice guy. He's a very approachable guy. Um, he streams almost every day as well another great content creator to go keep your eyes on um another great guy probably one of the best known players out there is azul gg um azul gg just he's, he's he's on twitch every day he also has a youtube channel as well um and he is a very player his his play style is more aggressive typically so if you want a little bit more aggressive decks go azul gg is your guy 
um, I have somewhat of a, a, a um, uh, less known player um, he's a good friend of mine called Edward Valencia you may know him if you're still playing as Desigun guys um, he mainly is on Twitch so go ahead check him out I'll leave his link in the description below um, he's a, again he's very knowledgeable of the game and he's the one who mainly got me into competitive play so I had to throw him in here um, great guy in general another guy who mainly does uh, Twitch streams is Flow T Cast uh, Steven Baxlow was great. Um, he's mainly playing his two decks are mainly Dragapult and um, Eternatus. So if you want to go ahead and find out how to play Eternatus or Dragapult, he's a great um, person to go ahead and check out. And he, they're also always he also has a podcast where they kind of check out the meta. They talk about different things. It's a great podcast to go listen to. And again, boom, go ahead. I'll leave his Twitch down below. Um, another uh, team of content creators is Omnipope. Joe and Jack are smart players from, I believe, the England area. Um, again, they're just very, very intelligent players. So they're always a good resource to go ahead and check out. Um, but then we have Jenks TCG. Jenks is a local player, I believe, from the New York area. Not 100% sure, but I know he's, he's in the Northeast area. Um, He's also a great player known for playing Pika Rom. I think he got, I believe he got second at an expanded regional not too soon using Trev, Trev, Trev Dusknor. So again, also a good player. He's, um, he mainly does Twitch streams at night. Um, so he's also a good guy to just kind of check out, check his mentality. I know he's doing, he's doing a hotline series as well where people come on and ask questions. He's doing things such as like, even I think he's starting an investment uh, series for Pokemon as well. So great guy who's doing stuff outside of competitive as well, but mainly a competitive content creator and stuff like that. And then you have Zapdos TCG. I believe he is from the Europe um, area, um, but also again, he's also known for his Blounds. His favorite deck is Blounds, but he's also again, a great player and very smart player who always has deck lists ready to go go ahead check him out for some great deck lists as well and then one big big one is channel pokemon channel pokemon is they have a team of players and included in that team is azul gg even so azul gg is playing some it does some content for them as well isaiah bradner one of the best uh probably one of the best in history uh, people to go from seniors to the masters division so he's good and stuff like that so again these are the more hyper competitive channels to go ahead and check out so go ahead and check them out they can you can learn a lot from watching and following these content creators now i'm gonna go into the kind of like mix of people uh, first off is Gyroshan. Gyroshan is a great guy. Um, he does a, he he streams a little bit, um, not as much, but he, he he creates a lot of content on YouTube and a lot of deck profiles. Um, kind of a mix again. He does a little bit of fun stuff, but does a lot of competitive stuff as well. So that's great. Um, part one of his teammates and where they do a meta uh, meta they do a podcast called the Meta Podcast is atrocious gameplay um him and jake from atrocious gameplay go ahead and do that meta podcast but jake is does does a lot of tcg content on youtube and on the side he does a lot of stuff on twitch mainly playing sword and shield and he, he does a lot of different things over his twitch so if you want to go ahead and check that out great content creator from there as well Another kind of a mixed bag as well, but also a great, very great player and has won very a lot of regionals is Mellow Magikarp. Mellow Magikarp is great, mainly a Twitch streamer again, but he does upload things to YouTube as well. Um, good guy to look out for. He's also very approachable as well. Probably one of the nicest people I've seen online. So um, another guy. Celio's network. Celio's network is very great. Uh, he looks at the game in a very different way. I feel than most of these content creators, and he very and it's it's refreshing because he looks at it. He he not only creates decks, but he also looks at like statistically. He looks at statistics in a different way and also tries to meta game a lot. So that's a nice another way to kind of like 
learn about the game and learn how to metagame and possibly, you know, metagaming is one part of the game where, hey, if you pick the right deck, you can win a whole tournament because you pick the right deck to take uh, and it just counters what you expected. So great person to look into as well. Um, another guy who's kind of a mixed bag, but is a very great player. He's <laughs> he has a big following, and that's Tricky Jim. Tricky Jim is also a streamer. Um, he streams almost every day, but he he does a lot of competitive content. He's won several regionals as well. But occasionally he'll run <laughs> the very fun deck. One example that I can think of right away is he he did a Toxicity Mill deck. He also quickly made a Whale Lord deck. Um, and he, he's just a great funny guy to watch in general um, cracks me up all the time so tricky game go ahead check him out um, another one rare candy rare candy does has some interesting deck profiles as well they're not always meta um, but again go ahead check him out um, so that's why I kind of threw him in the mix bag he does they do do uh, meta but again they're always doing a lot of crazy uh, I wouldn't say rogue, but different deck list and deck profiles as well. Um, another one, <laughs> so another uh, content creator, Slowpoke Well. And the reason I'm laughing is because Slowpoke Well is probably one of the funniest guy um, Pokemon TCG content creators I've ever seen. And um, he just does, he has a lot of wacky ideas for decks. Um, and sometimes they work. It's just, it's great. So if you want to have some fun, um, go ahead and check out his, those, his decks. He does do a little bit of meta decks as well but mainly does a lot of funny <laughs> decks on um, me. And he's just a funny guy. Like he's, he's, he's entertaining to watch. So if you don't, if you, maybe you're not into the meta right now, you can go ahead and watch him for some entertainment as well. And also stabilize again, another uh, set of content creators. Their team does a lot of meta decks, but also does a lot of rogue concepts as well. And a lot of different decks as well. A lot of different lists. Um, they look at cards that maybe not everybody looks at. So they're also great. Another good person who does that, who is also Little Dark Fury. Little Dark Fury will take a random card and make it work somehow. Um, but he's also, he's, he's a great player. So Little Dark Fury and the Sableyes are two other great guys. And also last but not least, Trainer Chip. Trainer Chip is not only a co uh, co uh, caster for main Pokemon events, but he does do Twitch and he also uploads a lot of content. Um, again, kind of like a mixed bag of where he's doing competitive stuff, but also fun stuff in general. So those are the content creators I suggest taking a look at in general as well. And also, if you want to learn like one great consolidated place where you kind of go ahead and not only look at what tournaments are going on online and register for those tournaments if you want to play in them, but also check out some deck lists of winning deck lists from like past tournaments is play.limitless.com. Um, the, the Limitless team has done great things during this time where we're just forced to kind of play online. Um, they created a online play series at the start of this and now they went back, took a break and they came back and created a whole new website where people can just register for um, online events, register deck list. And you can, again, they, they, they keep a lot of that data, which it's a nice site to go into and look for deck lists. Um, and don't be afraid to um, copy a deck list. I know in a lot of other TCGs, net decking is seen as a bad thing. It's, it's completely, um, it is completely encouraged in the Pokemon TCG to net deck, especially when you're starting out and like, because it's just, you want to learn the mechanics of the game before you start trying to build a deck that works. You want to know what makes the deck work and everything like that. So go ahead, feel free, go wild, check out some decks, some winning deck lists, and try and figure out those decks. See what makes them work. See if you can improve them. Um, my strategy is I'll typically take a list, play with it, see if adding other cards kind of makes it a little bit better, and I'll adapt it to like a play style that I kind of like. Um, so yeah, those are again a lot of resources. Go ahead and take a look at those I will leave links to all those resources down below in the description 
All right, guys, so that is my guide on how you can get started on PTCGO as well as on how you can get started on a Pokemon trading card game online competitive scene. I hope you guys have a good day and peace.